Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how we can create test cases in Zypher Scale. So for that, you need to come to the menu section where Zypher Scale is. Just click on it, and when you come here, you will see an option of New Test Cases. So just go on and click on New Test Cases. It will open a different section. Where you can create the test case. Here you will get an option, uh, other options like name, objective, precondition, uh, details. Where did in the details you have a status, priority, components, um, owners. Where owner means that you which account is creating this particular test case. Then you can give an estimated time for the particular test case. Even there are folders and the labels which you can give. So whatever details, like for example, if I give your the test case name as uh, testing login module, and then your object of testing the login module is you are testing it with incorrect uh, incorrect or correct credentials. So that you will write here testing login module with. Correct credentials. Then precondition, as you guys know that when you are performing this particular step, at uh, by doing this step before that might be there is a process or condition you have to follow. Like for for example, when you are trying to test the login page, the user should be registered. Then only he can go to the login page. So that could come here. As a precondition, and precondition is optional. If it is required, then you can add the precondition. So, I'm just writing here as user should be registered. Then you can give other details from here. After doing this, we have we have given the name description. Now we have to add other details. So for that, you need to go to test scripts from the top. Here you will get the options of uh, test step, test data, and expected result. So, for example, we are testing a login page, so we can directly write uh, user as a user. Opening the login page or opening the portal. For opening the portal, you need the data, which is your URL. So that URL you are going to write here. Like for example, I am writing www. itlearn. three sixty. dot com, and your expected result will be portal should be displayed. After doing that, this is your first step. So you need to add this step from the top. You can see at above the expected result, there one uh, option came, which is add step. Just click on that. Your that step is added. Now you can add other steps. So directly, I can write here. Click on login button. So for clicking the login button, you don't need any data. So you can leave it blank. So as Uh, precondition is optional. Same way, your test data is also optional. You can go to the expected result. So when we click on the login button, it will open a pop-up window. So that you will write here: pop-up window displayed. Should displayed. Same way, add this step. Now we are testing it with correct credentials. So I'll write here: enter correct credentials. And hit login button. So for testing the log uh, login page with correct credentials, your test data is your correct credentials. So for example, we are assuming that my correct credential is. For example, this this is my username, and uh, my password is 
for example this so that i'll pass here and i expect as as a user or user should able to log in as i'll write that so user should able to log in and when your all the steps are done you just click on save button and when you do that here at the top you can see trp this is my project id t2 is the pro, uh, the test case id and this is the name of your test case so if i go back here you can see one test case which i have created that testing login page with correct credential so i get this uh, here right now which is or sorry this one testing login module so uh, this one is my previous one and this one is my new one which is test login module this one i have created and even even you if go if you want to go and check the details you can just click on this key it will again get uh, take you to the same page and where you can change the details or you can check the details and you can save it so in this way you can add the test cases in zyphon scale